Hello friends, it's Tuesday. I'm Vicar Ross. I'm at a stump. But the real question is, was I stumped by your questions this week? Please like and share this video because you never know, someone else might have the exact same questions that you did. Also, on questions, thank you for all the questions you've been sending in and submitting. Please continue to do so at my email or at the box at church. The first question today comes from Dennis. It's on the parable of the shrewd manager. Now I won't read the whole parable. You can do that. But specifically on verse nine, Dennis wanted to know what does Jesus mean when he says that we are supposed to use our money to win friends? Because on a first glance, it kind of sounds like Jesus is saying, if we don't use our money in a certain way to win the favor of people, we won't go into heaven. However, if we keep reading the parable, when we go to verse 13, Jesus makes it a little clearer for us. Jesus says, we can't serve two masters, both God and money, for we will love one and hate the other. What Jesus is teaching with this parable, he taught in many other places. That money, material possessions, while a blessing from God, can easily take the place of God in our hearts. So, when God is the king and ruler of our hearts, naturally, we will use our monetary gifts to serve him and to serve our neighbors. Second question comes from Nate. Nate was wondering, Vicar, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, they made a lot of laws, and Jesus didn't seem to like that, but didn't they kind of have the right to make laws as they are part of the secular government? Well, they were a ruling class. Now this question hits right at the heart of the doctrine of the two kingdoms. Now we say, Vicar, what the heck is that? The doctrine of the two kingdoms is this. God has given two different kingdoms to help people on this earth as we live our lives. The first kingdom is the civil government. They wield the power of the sword to help keep order in society. The other kingdom is the church and they wield the power of the gospel to fulfill the Great Commission, to preach Christ crucified. Two different kingdoms, two different powers, two different purposes. Now how did this play out for the Jewish people in Jesus' day? Well, the, the Pharisees and the Sadducees were religious leaders, right? They taught in the synagogues, but it's not all they were. You see, the civil government, ultimately, the Romans were the head honchos but they allowed the Jewish people some freedom in their civil rule. And so they gave the Sanhedrin ability to rule partially the Jewish people. Now the Sanhedrin was a group of Pharisees and Sadducees. So you can see where the confusion would come in. So on one hand, the Pharisees, as far as they were involved with the Sanhedrin, would have had the right to make civil laws for the Jewish people. However, Jesus is clear, that's not what they were doing. In Mark chapter seven, Jesus tells us that the Pharisees were substituting God's very law for human traditions. The Pharisees, the Sadducees, were adding to God's law, not the civil law. They were saying, you have to do more than what God has laid out for salvation. The blessing is, is that back then and right now, salvation is a free gift from God through faith in Jesus Christ. And you can rest assured on that. Now, I'll be honest, this was the closest I've been to getting stumped by your questions. Wasn't quite stumped though. Remember, there is a prize for whoever is able to stump me. Thank you guys. God's blessings. Have a great week. We will see you next week at a stump near you.